Hey, welcome back. So not only did yesterday start the first day of my three weeks of vacation, I also saw a sell on the online marketplace here that I just couldn't believe. So someone sold or was selling a PlayStation 2 TV with a bunch of games, a controller and a third party memory card for only 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Now, if you know what the PlayStation 2 TV is, it's released in 2010, and I guess it was more sort of gated towards children. It has a small 22 inch LCD HD ready screen. And basically these things are extremely rare and pretty expensive for a, you know, just a TV and a PlayStation 2, but it's a really cool thing. I've never seen this out in the open. I've never seen this on in, in retro gaming stores or in retro gaming conventions. This is literally the first time I've ever seen this television and it is in pretty good shape. I mean, this is all glossy and it's scratched a little bit, I'll admit, I already cleaned everything up. But um, the controller, you can really see on the controller how much a system has been used. And this controller is almost in perfect state. Like, it is basically like a new controller. It, it feels new. So this, this system has probably not been used that much. Um, what I also really like about this is the remote, and it actually has PlayStation 2 on it, PlayStation 2 TV. Stupid autofocus. I have no idea how I can switch off the autofocus, by the way. It's, uh, it's really annoying. Here it also says Sony, can you see it, uh, PlayStation TV. So if you turn it on, it's pretty cool. Turn on, power up. <clears throat> you can actually, you have to do it sort of in T PS2 mode, I guess. Yeah, PlayStation 2 mode. And then would the PlayStation power on? Oop, yep, it's powered on. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So you open it up like this. Let's put so Calibre 2 in it. I kind of do want to clean out the PS2 itself, but I'll be honest, I have no idea how to open it up. And I'm kind of scared that I will break something. And it works completely fine. Start game anyway, yes. It has a 60 Hertz screen, so that's pretty cool. Produced by Nemco. And what I what is sort of a little bit special, I guess, about this screen is that you know when you put a PS2 or any kind of old system on a LCD or LED screen, the pixels are kind of pixelated, and it it doesn't look. Wait up! No, it doesn't look that good. Well, the problem isn't here. It's really weird, but. Everything just looks extremely sharp. It would kind of be weird if Sony would make a PlayStation TV and then not make the PlayStation 2 work. So as you can see, it is really sharp image. Where most of the times these televisions are pretty bad for older games. So this is it. This is my pretty rare... PlayStation 2 TV, it is pretty cool that I found this. 
especially for the price, um, the controller and the games were basically already the $20 or euros price, let alone a PlayStation TV that from what I've seen can go up to a thousand bucks. That's insane. Definitely not worth it, but it's really cool to have it. So thanks a lot for watching and you'll see me next time.